how do we find the area of this inscribed pentagon inside of this circle here? Well, we know it's a regular uh, pentagon and they're giving us the radius is eight units. But what we wanna do is we wanna divide this up into congruent triangles. So let's do that first. Let's split this regular pentagon up into congruent triangles. It has a radius of eight. But let's go ahead and see if we can find out the area of one of these triangles. Then we can multiply it by five to find the total area of the pentagon. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna find that central angle. And we know in a circle there's 360 degrees. So if we divide that by five, since there's five of them, that's gonna give us a central angle of 72 degrees, right? But then if we drop an altitude here, which this is called the apothem, okay, it's also the height of this triangle here, it's gonna split that 72 degree angle into 36 and 36. And we know that the hypotenuse here is the radius, okay, across from the right angle, that's eight. But how do we find out this side length and this side length? Well, let's go ahead and make this triangle a little bit larger so we can see it. So we have 36 degrees. Let's call this eight. Let's call this A for apothem and let's call this X for the side length. So we're gonna use a little bit of trigonometry here. Let's start off by doing the sine. So the sine of 36 degrees equals the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So that's gonna equal X over eight. If we multiply both sides by eight, that's gonna give us X here. So let's see what that comes out to. It's eight times the sine of 36, okay, which is about 4.7, I'm just rounding. And then for this side, we can either do the Pythagorean theorem or we could do the cosine. So we could say uh, cosine of 36 degrees equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's A divided by eight. If we multiply both sides by eight, we get A by itself. So that's eight cosine 36, which is about 6.5. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to go back to the triangle here. If this is 4.7, that's right here, 4.7. This is also 4.7, so that's 9.4. And the height of the triangle we know is 6.5. So if we wanna find the area, we just have to do one half the base, which is 9.4, times the height, which is 6.5, times five of these triangles, and we've got our area, so we have uh, let's see, 6.5 times 9.4 times five times a half. Okay, it comes out to about 152.75 units squared and you've got it. If you wanna see another example, uh, check out the video I did right there. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.